Man, they, if they think coming off the streets is destroying yourself, man, fuck it. Uh, talk about your video a little bit. I mean, I just, the track, you know what I'm saying, the Big Papa track, I had it for a while. And Puff just told me, oh man, you had something dope to this song, you know, it, it's damn near certifying your platinum shit, I knew. And his track record is like damn near 99%. He don't really do nothing that fails. So I take his word for a lot of shit, which was true. And once I put the big pop of shit in, the album just soared the platinum. So, the advice we give to young rappers? Take control of your shit. Don't, don't be the type of rapper. Don't be a stupid rapper. <laughs> a stupid rapper is a motherfucker. Watch my money. It comes. It's a lot easier that way, and you have a lot of money. Is your family the most important thing to you? Yeah, at this time right now, yeah. I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. At one point, the music was more important because I knew that if I did good in the music, I could take care of my family a lot better. So I was more pushing towards making sure the music was tight. My music really ain't really got no messages like for somebody else to listen to and like learn from. It's just basically an autobiography of myself, you know what I'm saying? You could take it either way you want to. You could take it as you want to be like me, or you could take it as you want to stay away from what I was doing. You know, I mean, I can't really be that role model type of nigga, you know what I'm saying? I can leave that to the parents and the teachers and shit. I'm just making music, that's it. So you don't consider yourself a role model? No, I'm not a role model at all. I'm not. I'm just a regular guy. Um, what separates me from other people? Yeah. It's not the success itself, it's just from the music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of other people take, well, you know, he used to sell drugs and now he's doing good. But a lot of niggas used to sell drugs, just, they never really talked about it. I just think it's the music, you know what I'm saying? The lyrics itself is tight, the music is tight. And, you know what I'm saying, with my management and with Puffy and everybody, you know what I'm saying? They little extra added, you know what I'm saying? It helps. You know, it helps. I mean, Greg's the same way, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just blew up. That's Greg's the same way, but who's the
He took it to me during the time stage by Mr. C. Mr. C. I had to hit that it was dope. And then they introduced me to this cat. Man, he seen from a source. And we just jumped in and spent some help. And I like some shit from inside all this. So she had to take and set. So I'm like a tank for a picture. Hardcore artist for Uptown Records. That's when Puff was vice president of Uptown. He said he's tired of doing the heavy shit, the merry shit, Jodeci shit. He want to do some hard shit, some street shit. So Matt let him hear my shit, and he liked it. You know, so he wanted to meet up with me. We met up. I kicked a little round for the nigga, and it was on from there. He signed me. Nah, rap music gonna inspire violence. I mean, a lot of people that rap was involved with a lot of violence, you know what I'm saying, I saw a lot of violence. And some people feel like there's a lot of copycats in the game too, you know what I'm saying, if they see somebody that's real talking about it, and they saw a lot of records, they feel they should follow in the same footsteps to do the same thing, so it just makes it seem like it's a whole bunch of people talking about the same shit, but it don't, I mean, most of the niggas I know, they just like the music itself, I don't really know nobody that's gonna listen to a rap song and be like, yeah, I wanna kill somebody, or some stupid shit like that. Niggas just love the music itself. Do you think the media has overblown the whole... No doubt. No doubt. The media blows up everything, though. Everything, especially with the Tupac shit, the Snoop shit, Flavor Flav shit, you know what I'm saying? We just blew it up, like, make it seem like rappers is different from human beings, you know what I'm saying? I mean, in any situation, you know what I'm saying, no matter who it is, if... If you feel violated, and you that type of person that get down like that, you know what I'm saying, like me or any of my niggas, you know what I'm saying, if a nigga was to disrespect me, and I had a gap, I would handle my business, you know what I'm saying, but if I was just Christopher Wallace, they probably wouldn't look at it as, you know what I'm saying, well, shooting occurred, you know what I'm saying, they'd probably just be like, somebody got shot, but if I'm Biggie Smalls, it gets amped up, like, yeah, Biggie Smalls did this, and this, and this, and this, he just trying to blow it up, because you're in the limelight. Brooklyn is the land of lost, man. When you're in it, you're stuck in it. There's nowhere to go after that, man. You know what I'm saying? Anything else is just an imitation, man. Believe me when I tell you. Everybody try, but they don't succeed. Brooklyn is the real shit. The thick shit. <laughs> what are some of the things that you've had to overcome? Uh, what I had to overcome? I don't know. Poverty? Police? <laughs> <Holy. laughs> A little bit of anything, man. I miss a nigga from the hood that got a little bit of rap skills, man. He came up with my shit. I bumped into Puff. I bumped into my man Gucci Don. They just took me the right route, you know what I'm saying? Now my shit is tight. I'm living better now. Coochie sweaters now, you know what I'm saying? It's all good. I was fucked up. Now I'm doing all right. That's all. Talk about some of the things that you had to do to get to work What I had to do? A lot of shit, man. A lot of bad shit, a lot of good shit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's all good, man. A nigga try to do his thing, man. Everybody got a little negativity in them. I just got a little bit more than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? But my shit is straight now. I don't need to talk about the past. I'm reformed.